Welcome to Expert Advisor Builder Pro. We're going to show you how easy it is to build any Expert Advisor using the Expert Advisor Builder Pro tool. In this video, we're demonstrating building an Expert Advisor which trades based on an arrows indicator, sets a risk-reward ratio, and uses Martingo. We will now look at the trading plan submitted by Rizwan. We enter a long or short position when an arrow is painted on the chart. We will allow the expert advisor to hedge and in this case have a maximum of two opened orders at any time. We will only trade during the London New York sessions. We set our stop loss to the last high or low of the zigzag color indicator. Take profit should have a one on one reward risk ratio which should be adjustable. The first trade may use 1% of balance, the second trade 2% etc. After the fourth trade, which hits stop loss, we will reset the lot size to 1%. We also reset the lot size at any time we hit take profit. Let's create the expert advisor. Start by adding an expert advisor to your account. Name your expert advisor. If you've watched our previous videos, you've probably noticed that building any expert advisor works in exactly the same way. First, you add your indicators to the list of indicators used by your expert advisor. Then, you define when you want your orders to open. Next, you add stop loss, take profit, and optionally more modules. And finally, you manage your lot size. So by now, you can already visualize how to build this expert advisor. We often get questions like, how can I do cost averaging? Well, cost averaging is essentially adding orders and you use your signals to define when to add these additional orders. Or how do I set the volume and stop loss of my orders using Martingo? Well, those are three separate questions which you solve one at a time. Back to the expert advisor we are building for Rizwan. The first thing we're going to do is add the two mentioned custom indicators. We'll start with the indicator which is painting arrows. It's important to make sure that you verify the indicator has modes and that the modes have meaningful names. You will want to at least name the modes you plan on using if those don't have a name yet. If you want to learn how to find the mode names, please see our video, which is dedicated to the topic, in the description below. We can choose not to add the modes, which we are not going to use anyway, to keep the signal editor as clean as possible. We will now add the second indicator, which shows tops and bottoms of price action. The line going to the top is blue. The line going to the bottom is red. Once you are done adding your indicators, we advise to focus on the open buy and open sell signals to define when to open orders. For buy orders, we are going to add the condition which checks if an arrow up was painted. The description says we want to wait until a new candle opens. The easiest way to do this is to simply wait for the arrow to be on the previous bar. This is why we're going to check if the arrow up has any value on the previous bar. Shift 1. We do the same for sell orders, but select arrow down instead. Next, we adjust the open module to allow our expert advisor to have two opened orders simultaneously and to allow hedging. We only want to trade during the London and New York sessions, which run from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. UTC. 
We check the market watch of our broker to decide it has an offset of two hours from ETC during winter time. So we want to trade between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. broker time. Add the trade session module, which allows opening orders between selected times and days. Enter to trade between our 6 and our 20. Let's move on to our exit rules. We add the stop loss module, which allows using indicators, which is the pro module. For buy orders, we will set the stop loss to the value of the end of the red line to select the bottom of the zigzag. We also disable trailing. We add the same module again for sell orders, but this time selecting the top of the zigzag. We're now going to add the Take Profit Pro module to set the Take Profit to a customizable ratio. We can calculate the Take Profit value by adding the difference between the open price and the stop loss to the open price. When we do this, we get the one-on-one -on -one ratio. However, to make the ratio customizable, we should add a multiplier, which can then be adjusted whenever you want. We add the Take Profit Pro module again for sell orders. We use the same logic here, slightly adjusted for sell orders, because Take Profit has to be below the open price. The last part of building this expert advisor is to manage the lot sizes. We want to use the Martingale module because we want to adjust the lot size after a loss and reset after a win. We will set the module to use 1% on the first trade and double on every next trade, so we end our sequence with multiplied by 2. We allow 3 steps maximum from 1 to 2%, from 2 to 4%, and from 4 to 8%. We want to reset our lot size to the initial 1% after the maximum number of steps. We've now completed this expert advisor. If you want to build this expert advisor, see the links below the video to learn where to find the indicators so you can create this expert advisor for yourself. Do you have a trading plan you would like to automate and don't mind sharing? Send me your plan and I'll show you how to create it.